Hey guys, I'm Tom the Tech Chap, and one of the questions I get asked all the time is what laptop should I buy? And I wish, I wish there was a straightforward answer. My first question is always, well, what are you gonna use it for? But then I find myself explaining what an SSD is, the difference between processors, why some laptops have touchscreens and some don't. There's a lot to think about. So I've been collaborating with Intel for probably the past couple of years now, and they're actually very kindly sponsoring this video because they want you guys to know all about their new project, Athena Innovation Program. It should help make buying a new laptop just a bit easier. So this is the new Lenovo Yoga C940. It hasn't been talked about as much as say the Dell XPS 13 2-in-1, which is another project Athena-based laptop, but there's a lot to like here. And it's actually one of the first laptops that's been co-engineered between Intel and Lenovo as part of this Project Athena Innovation Program, which is basically a new standard for laptops. Essentially, if a laptop meets a certain spec, like having the latest 10th generation Intel processors, a touchscreen, an SSD, all-day battery, Wi-Fi 6, a whole range of features that guarantee you'll get a great experience from your laptop, then it can be part of this new program. Hands up if you've ever heard the term Ultrabook, because that's actually something Intel came up with a few years ago, and that was aimed at a new generation of thin and light laptops with touchscreens and Intel processors, ideal for on the go. So Intel's new project Athena Innovation Program is kind of like Ultrabook 2.0, but it goes further. You'll actually start to see this visual identifier on or around laptops. So when you're shopping for a new one, you know it's gonna give you great performance, long battery life, and everything you need for working, creating, whatever it is you do, without having to look at all the nitty gritty tech specs and getting overwhelmed. So the C940 is one of the first Project Athena based laptops that you'll be able to buy. I've got the 14 inch 4K model here with a 10th generation Intel Ice Lake i7 processor, Iris Plus graphics, 16 gigs of RAM and a one terabyte SSD. That's a pretty impressive spec and it comfortably handles editing high res photos in Lightroom, but the real test for me is 4K video editing, something thin and light laptops like this usually struggle with. But I have to say, I think largely thanks to the new Iris Plus graphics, which offered nearly double the performance of Intel's previous integrated graphics chip, scrolling through the timeline, playback, and even exporting 4K videos is much smoother and faster than I expected. It really is a big step up. Design-wise, we get this all aluminium body in this iron gray color with really thin bezels around the top and sides of the screen. Although there is a fairly chunky chin at the bottom. It also has what Lenovo call a reverse notch, which means there's room for a webcam at the top, plus it helps with opening the laptop. Hidden around the back, you'll find the built-in pen dock, which houses and charges Lenovo's active pen. It really is lovely to use, supporting 4096 pressure points, and it comes in handy for taking notes, doodling, marking your web pages, or just messing around for the sake of shooting some B-roll for this video. We also get a rotating soundbar. You can see here it's built into the hinge, and so whether you use it in sort of a clamshell laptop mode like this, or you spin it around for tent mode, stand mode, or in fact use it just as a tablet, then the soundbar with its Dolby Atmos tuned speakers is always facing towards you and you get really good sound quality. And paired with that 500 nit HDR screen, specifically the Display HDR 400 standard, it's great for watching movies on Netflix or you know, even catching up on the latest tech chat videos. Whatever floats your boat. We also get a fingerprint reader that supports Windows Hello, Wi-Fi 6 for a faster and more reliable connection, and along with a USB Type-A and headphone mic jack, we get two super fast Thunderbolt 3 ports for charging, connecting high-res monitors, and even external graphics cards. As for battery life, well with the 4K model I've got here, one hour of YouTube at 50% brightness in power saving mode used 16% of the battery. I've been using this for the past couple of weeks or so, and I found on average that I'm getting about six hours of light use out of it. Obviously, uh, if you do heavy video editing, then it's gonna go down to sort of about three and a half, four hours, but that's not too bad really, considering the fact that this does have a 4K resolution. There is also a 1080p option, uh, which I think may be the better choice given the 14 inch screen size, and you'll get closer to 10 or 11 hours with that. It also supports Lenovo's rapid charge. So powered off, a one hour charge tops it up from zero to 80%. A couple of other neat features include instant on. So as soon as you open the lid, the screen wakes up and you're ready to go straight away. It's got some other AI smarts as well, including super resolution. So if you're playing uh, older, say home movies or something through the Windows Media Player, then this will actually upscale it to 1080p. There's also a new AI enhanced intelligent cooling mode, which adjusts the fan and performance to keep everything cool and help improve battery life. If you're a regular on my channel, you know that I travel a lot. And so having a thin and light portable laptop like this, which I can 
uh, easily throw in my backpack and it doesn't really add to the weight really helps when I'm out about at trade shows or product launches. But that's only half the story because then I need to actually edit my videos. And surprisingly, as I say, being able to get away with some light 4K video editing on this, uh, thanks to the latest 10th gen processors and the Iris Plus graphics, is actually very impressive. And so with things like Instant On, Thunderbolt 3, fast SSDs, uh, the really, really nice and comfortable keyboard and precision trackpad, the solid battery life, rapid charging, this really does tick a lot of boxes for me. So the 14-inch C940 starts from around £990. I've put a link below. It really is a very impressive laptop, and it gives you an idea of what you can expect when you buy a Project Athena-based laptop. They won't all be 4K and 2-in-1 devices, but it should guarantee you a certain level of performance and portability, and also future-proofing. And the idea that the next time someone asks me what laptop should I buy, well, still I'm going to say, you know, what are you going to use it for, what's your budget? But now I can say, well, have you checked out one of the latest Project Athena-based laptops, because that will do pretty much everything you need. I mean, laptops like this go through Intel's own testing process to make sure they offer the best balance between responsiveness, so how fast it feels to use, and of course the battery life. So we're just now seeing the first wave of these Project Athena-based laptops uh, from companies like Lenovo, Dell, and HP, and there'll be more to come soon. So make sure you do stay tuned and subscribed. But what do you make of the C940? And do you think the Project Athena Innovation Program is a good idea? And do you think it's gonna help you choose a laptop? And check out the links in the description if you wanna find out more. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time right here on The Tech Chat.